The pathologist who first examined Ian Tomlinson after he died during the G20 protest told the inquest he still believes Mr Tomlinson died of natural causes. Dr Freddie Patel was facing questions about his original post-mortem. He said he still believed that coronary artery disease killed him, despite two subsequent investigations finding he died of internal bleeding after clashing with a riot policeman. Our Home Affairs correspondent Simon Israel was in court. Ian Tomlinson's family has never had the opportunity of questioning the very pathologist whose findings have caused so much controversy. Dr Freddie Patel was forced to acknowledge today that he's currently suspended after his fitness to practice in another case was found by the General Medical Council to have been impaired. For the family, everything hinges on the forensic evidence. For they want to show that what forced Ian Tomlinson to the ground here two years ago was what caused him to die. But it boils down to the credibility of one forensic pathologist against another. It all centres around this incident and this footage, which was shown to Dr Patel today. Counsel for the family, Matthew Ryder QC, suggested that Dr Patel's conclusions from his first post-mortem were wrong. He asked him... Are you telling the jury that the trauma caused by the push to the ground and the baton strike about 150 seconds before Mr Tomlinson collapsed, are you telling the jury that they weren't a significant contribution to any heart attack? No, what I am saying is that there is a compelling association, but there is no causal evidence. A pathologist cannot say that caused it without the evidence. And some of that evidence, the inquest heard, had been thrown away during the first post-mortem. Evidence which may have determined the degree of internal bleeding suffered by Mr Tomlinson when he wandered away only to collapse and die minutes later. The 47-year-old news vendor was found to be five times over the limit, the jury heard, numbed enough possibly not to feel any pain. Dr Patel admitted he revised his report after two other pathologists disputed his findings, but he insisted that he stood by his conclusion that Mr Tomlinson's death was down to natural causes.